Hello my friend, this is IZ0ABD from tspelectronica.com. Many want to install my iFace on their amateur radio and I'm here to show you how to add this to the ICOM IC7000. So uh, the first thing we need is to open the service manual for this radio. Here we have the service manual for the ICOM IC7000 and the first thing we have to find is the block diagram of the radio. So uh, let's start and I passed here a simple reminder for the IVF frequencies. So uh, we will work at this. So I can highlight this frequency in this way. So here you can see that the frequency you have to tune your SDR receiver is 124 MHz. So now we need the block diagram of the radio. Okay, here we have the block diagram and I can copy this portion of the page and I can paste it in my uh, notes. Okay, so the point where we will take the IF frequency is here. Now we have to check on the schematic diagram to find the circuit around this component, the mixer, the first mixer. And we have to look for this IC401. So let's go back to the service manual. Here we have the complete block diagram of the radio and this is very important to understand in a more detailed way where we can sample the IF signal. So, for example, uh, we have here the connector for the HF and 50 MHz and here below the 144 and 430 MHz. So it has the VHF and the UHF. And as you can see, the signal passed through these filters, this band pass filter, or it has low pass filter, and it arrives to a TX RX filter. So, uh, let's see for the VHF, and this is another path, as you can see, but the signal Okay, anyway, the signal goes to the same RX mixer. Okay, yeah, it's good. I'm just checking in a more detailed way where to go. But the mixer we are interested in is the IC401, this one. This is the only one mixer we need to use. And in green, we have the RX signal, in orange, the TX signal. And as you can see, after the mixer, here on this left side, we have, we have also the TX signal. So it, it means that some part of the circuitry is used both for TX and RX. But we want only the RX, we, because we don't want to see our transmission. It can be annoying, especially if you are listening with a headphone you can copy yourself with a little bit delay and it can be annoying okay so we prefer just to sample the rx signal so a good practice is to sample here we can sample the signal here between this dial the 502 or on the side after the if amplifier so the q502 because we want to stay before the roofing filter. After this filter, uh, we will have a narrow band signal, so we cannot have a very nice pan adapter. So we have to take this image and put on the nodes. We can adjust the sampling point. It has to be on, as we said, on this side, between the IF amplifier and the dial, this switch. Okay, this is the point where we have to look for on the schematic. We will connect our iFace to this point. So let's go to take a look to the schematic and to look for these components. Okay, here we have the schematic diagram of the section just after the mixer. So this should be the mixer, if I'm not wrong. Okay, I see 401, this is the mixer. This is the TX part in orange and the green is only RX. So we have to sample the signal here in this part. We said after this amplifier, with, after this transistor, 
So our right point should be in this part. This portion of the schematic is located on the main unit. So we have to look for the PCB of the main unit and we have to locate this component C516, L508 and C518. Among these components we can sample the IF of our radio. And between the C528 and L508 we can connect the power supply to our interface. So let's go to look for the main unit PCB. Okay, here we have the PCB of the main unit and after a while I found where the mixer is, the first mixer is. So it is located here in the bottom left of the PCB and as you can see the IC401 is this one. This is the mixer and this is the amplifier we were you looking for before. And these are the capacitor inductor where we have to connect our FEs. This is this one, the L508. So I can copy this part of the PCB. Here it is. So let's go back to check on the schematic. We have to look for C518 and C516 and Q502. So Q502. The, this capacitor 16 and 18 and this is the inductor L508 L508 here it is where they are all connected together is the sampling point so the sampling point is this yes this is the sampling point so we can solder a wire here okay here you can see the sampling point now let's put the arrow for the power supply in the right position just it's on the opposite side of this inductor the power supply point is this one i don't like this position so probably here in this way it's better yeah much better so this is the sampling point for the power supply, this is for the IF frequency and can also show you the picture of the PCB where you have to take this signal. So let's go back to page number 5, it's a little bit too giant. So here you see first mixers and this is the area where we have to connect our I phase. And now I can copy the picture of the main unit on this instruction. As you can see this image is not so good, the resolution is not so high, so the only thing I can do is to highlight the part where you have to connect the wires. I can do something like this, nothing more. And I can write I have sampling and power supply points and I can move the arrow in this way that's it refer to this for a better understanding of the point where to solder the IF sampling wire and the power supply wire so the installation of this radio is very easy you just need to open the radio you have to find the main unit and this portion of the PCB is the portion of the unit where you have to solder the wires. It means the sampling point for the IF and the power supply. It's everything over there. Then with a, with a coaxial cable you can bring the output of the IF buffer interface on the back of the radio and you can start receiving with a, an external SDR receiver. I hope this can help you to understand how to do this for any other radio. As you have seen, it's very easy to find the instruction for your own radio, even if it's not listed by us. Thanks for watching this video, subscribe to our channel and enjoy!